to Alphabet and Microsoft on the move following quarterly results. Both companies beating analysts' profit and revenue estimates, but Microsoft now down on weaker than expected revenue guidance. AI, obviously a very big focus for both of these companies. Uh, that term was mentioned, are you ready for this, 145 times on yesterday's earnings calls. Joining us right now is Brent uh, Phil, uh, Jeffrey's equity research analyst. Good morning. If you could buy one or the other, which one do you take? We like Microsoft here for the long term in, in AI. Uh, the stock's going to be off based on uh, the AI tidal wave coming. There's no revenue yet, so everyone got a little ahead of their ski tips on the impact of AI in the short term. But the long term, there's no question they have the best monetization, the best partnerships, some of the best technology. And they've already unveiled the pricing models that you can see uh, that you can start to layer in the model going forward. So revenue growth should you know, accelerate. Uh, you continue to see support for their Azure business. All their product lines uh, will be infused with a co-pilot. And uh, this is hurry up offense. This is not the old Microsoft. Uh, they are not uh, at a risk of, of actually confusing some of their customers. They are coming with a flood of products that I thought that may confuse customers. But talking to Microsoft last night, they are are uh, literally ready to roll. Uh, they are not going to hold back, and and, and they are going to. There's going to be a flood of AI solutions that their customers right. can pick from. That will will drive revenue and so, and margin you know, going Sa forward. Satya is not not one to boast, but he was boasting a bit last night in terms of just the component part of the AI piece of the Azure business. How big in terms in terms of the Azure business do you ultimately see this becoming? And we talked about Google, but we really should be talking, um, I think, about Amazon, which is to say, how, how do you see that competition uh, rolling off? Yeah, I mean, first on competition, I'd, I'd say that Microsoft is leading the charge. Uh, Google came in second, uh, Amazon is third. Every expert in the tech industry has said that Amazon can make their way, but they're way behind and they uh, got caught flat-footed. Uh, and they have to come back with a bigger answer. So that, that's the view of the industry, not not our view. Uh, so Amazon's got some work to do. They either have to make an acquisition or talk uh, in, in more detail around their strategy. And I think both Microsoft and Google have done a fantastic job of articulating their message. Amazon's a little bit outside outside that sphere right now. In terms of how big it could be for Microsoft, you know, all their main pillars are going to have co-pilots and, and many have sized this, you know, anywhere just in the office business, anywhere between 20 to $40 billion of incremental revenue. So over time, it's really exciting. They've doubled their prices. If you were paying 30 to $40 per user for an office seat, you're now paying 30 incremental dollars for the co-pilot AI feature. So in, in many cases, it can take the pricing from 50 to 100% higher than what you're paying. Yes, not everyone's got, got to need AI. Uh, and not everyone's going to adopt it out of the gate. So it'll be a phased implementation. And I think this is the, the pushback right now uh, with investors that there's so much hype in the stock and AI, but the revenue has yet to come. So what we've said is you have to be patient. It's going to be a phased rollout uh, over the next couple of years.